So today guys, we take a look at the multi-tap. Now people are saying this is a bad weapon and isn't worth your time farming. Now I don't know what weapon they have been using, but it can't be this thing. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the multi-tap is a new Atlas pistol exclusive to Mayhem 6 Plus which drops from Katagawa Ball upon Skywar 27. It doesn't drop offering any elemental variant but does have a cryo side to it. So this weapon I have seen a couple of people speak about, I've seen a couple of posts about it on Reddit and Facebook and for the most part it seems people don't like the thing. Or guys, they just don't know how to use it, because after reading what this weapon is capable of, I jumped straight into the slaughter shaft on Mayhem 10, and it was laying down some great damage, which actually surprised me, due to what I'd read about it. So what this thing does is, tag an enemy with a tracker grenade, basically it's second firing mode shoots at a tracker grenade, anyone within that radius of it going off, while well, 5 enemies, they will be a victim of your projectiles for 15 seconds, and when you reload the weapon, you will fire small cryo rockets at these tagged enemies. Like I said I went into the slaughter shaft using this, how I believe it should be used and it was great, laying down damage on all kinds of enemies no matter how strong they were. Now you can use this in a sense of constantly spamming the reload button upon you shooting to fire those crow rockets at tagged enemies which does indeed work quite well or you could fire the weapon and watch those projectiles track, empty your clip then watch those rockets get to work. I was mixing this up using both playstyles depending on the enemy I was actually facing up against and it was working great. It's also wicked to see those rockets home in those targets too. Now under my testing it also seemed like the cryo rockets were also ricocheting to nearby enemies after hitting that initial tagged target. And if this is the case people, 5 tagged enemies upon you reloading, what we will see is those cryo rockets hit those enemies then ricochet to each other target, so our enemies are being hit twice which is pretty cool and it kind of makes sense when you look at how quick this thing actually takes off that enemy's health. Now looking at this variant I have on paper I'd say it's pretty powerful being one of the best variants in the game because it's definitely the best one I've seen. Obviously though you want that anointment based on the Vault Hunter you are using. Now we can see this is pretty powerful, almost 7k damage per shot, ain't got the fastest fire rate or mag size but both can be adjusted via skills much like I did for this test. Now credit to Medellin for sending me this variant for the purposes of this review, so credit to him. But yeah guys, I actually really enjoyed using this thing. I don't know what the hay is towards it. Yes it's a pistol, yes it gets rid of ammo quite quickly. Yes it looks bizarre. Yes it requires a certain style of play to use it correctly. But you are rewarded for sure if you use it right. The only other legendary pistol made by Atlas in the game right now I do believe is the Link, which to be honest isn't too bad of a weapon. It just doesn't offer anything unique. This on the other hand does. So if people try this thing out, I do recommend it. So my thoughts on the multi-tap Atlas pistol, exclusive to Mayhem 6 Plus, which drops from Katagawa Ball upon Skywar 27. This is a very very good and overlooked pistol, capable of taking out groups of ads all at the same time, making it amazing for places such as the slaughter shaft and system of slaughter where it can get a little heavy ad wise. It wouldn't be my first choice pistol but for damn sure it wouldn't be one I'd get angry at using if I had no choice to. And on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.